G'day, I'm Jake from Make Science Fun. This is my child, Samuelina. Samantha. Samuel. Come on, Samuel. <laughs> I won't make fun of you anymore. Okay, Sam's gonna get a haircut tomorrow, aren't you, mate? Hey, high five. Today's episode is to help out a sub, the Bright Light Side Diamond. He needs to do a science fair project on renewable energy from a recyclable material. <laughs> renewable energy from a recyclable material. And so I thought rather than just like make something, I'd go around my house and I'd find all the projects that I've made in the past that have got to do with recycled material and renewable energy and we'll look through them and we'll discuss them and uh, might, might spark some ideas for him. Hopefully it will help him out and hopefully it will help out a lot of other people as well. So this was uh, a project from an ex-student of mine, Naomi. So if you're watching, hi Naomi. And she's got some, an egg beater and connected to the egg beater is a coil of wire and the coil of copper wire is connected to two LED lights. And here on the side are... Two magnets. Two magnets, that's right. And so Sam, you're gonna help me. You're gonna hold this really firm, okay? So it can't move. And I'm gonna turn the egg beaters really fast, okay? The copper wire has probably come out of a um, old electric motor and the egg beaters, of course, are probably broken and they've been thrown out. So not a bad little project. Thanks, Naomi. This is one that I did myself. Sam, you want to have a go at this? Yep. I took this gear thing from a commercial product, I think called Gigo or something like that. So it's just got a simple circuit with two LEDs in parallel with a switch in series. Here's a, here's a little electric motor. The beautiful thing about a direct current motor is that, yes, when you put electricity in it turns, but if you turn it manually, it actually makes electricity. Now if you turn it one way, the current goes in the one direction. See that? But if you turn it the other way, the current goes in the opposite direction. Now here's the interesting thing. I can turn the lights off and have a look. When I give this a, a turn, look how, look how long it turns for. That's because the energy is not being changed into any electrical energy. It's just changed into friction and sound and that sort of thing. If I turn it on and give it the same push, notice how quickly it slows down. That's because the kinetic energy is now being changed into electrical energy. Dad, so, how did you do that? Oh, just magic, I guess. How about we look at a few more projects? Yep. What are you doing, Sam? Making electricity. This is a butterfly flying around. This wheel is off from the wiggle star. When I turn it, it makes electricity. So you know those little kid electric ride-on bikes? Well, when the batteries die, they often get thrown out. You turn the wheel, then you can actually make electricity. How good's that? Woo! If I turn it one way, it goes one way. If I turn it the other way, it'll go the other way. That I'm not using any hands. This is an old exercise bike that was thrown out, so I guess it's recycled material. I've also got an old electric scooter. I've taken out the electric motor, and I've put the electric motor against the, um, the, the tire of the wheel. And so when the wheel goes around, turns the motor around, generates electricity. Woohoo! Renewable energy. Because all we have to do is feed Sam every morning, and then he can make electricity all day. And he hardly makes any pollution whatsoever, right? No. Nope. No. Good boy. It's hard to do. This is an old kiddies bike and I've put the electric scooter motor on it. It's really hard to turn. If I unplug the light, now try and turn it, Sam. <laughs> it's much easier to turn. Ah, keep, turn keep turning. But look. I can use it as a brake to stop him. Go again. Go. Ready. And stop. So this time I've got a, a big LED light. Okay. 
Off you go. Look at that, Sam. Yeah. Hey? Now you're making lots of electricity. Renewable energy, and you can use that to light the house. Forget about our electricity bill. Let's just get Sam pedaling away. Pedal, pedal, pedal. If you're going to do a project with renewable energy, make sure you get some LED lights. All right. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Falling off. Woo! Hey! <laughs> so we can turn an electric fan as well, Sam. Woo! If you haven't worked it out, I've obviously got this thing for electric motors. This motor is out of a direct drive washing machine. As you can see, when I turn the motor by hand, I generate an electric current. So this is from a thrown out washing machine. And the lights were from some thrown out um, fairy lights. And so there's a little project using a recyclable and renewable energy. Woohoo! Isn't that pretty? Hey? Woo! You've got a whole stack of electromagnets here and a whole stack of magnets in this outside rim. As the magnets go past the coils of wire, it generates an electric current. Woo! Look at that! Found this printer on the side of the road this morning. I guess it was thrown out because it ran out of ink and the cost of the new ink head was probably more than the um, actual printer itself. Pulled out some of the screws already, so it will pull apart pretty quick. Actually, it was a little bit tricky taking out the screws because you needed a special screwdriver, but not impossible, obviously. And, whew, magic. And the key thing is, of course, for all these projects, are two direct current motors. There's one electric motor here, drives the print head backwards and forwards. That might be quite interesting actually, because why I'm interested in that is that one of the hardest things about making electricity is you've got to get the motor to spin fast. You can't just like spin it with your hand. Now, if I move this one backwards and forwards, it actually spins that motor, I think, quite quickly. So let me pull it apart. Okay. I want to take off the print head running track. Now I've never done one of these before. There's the circuit board. Remove that gently. Take that baby off. See your screw? Take it out. Hi! Yay! Beautiful. Put that to the side. Take, snip that off. As you can see, that runs up and down. But as it does so, it turns that electric motor. Pop them in my mouth. That's actually cutting off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Sam would love this. I'll show him tomorrow. All I need to do is get an LED light connected to that. And I think I might be, I think we might be in business. Wouldn't it be great if I can find an LED in the actual printer? Be like somewhere where the control panel is. Hey! And with, and with great care. Oh! Forgot this glass there. Oh, mm, sugar, that could be sharp. Oh, hey, I see one. A little tiny green light is an LED. So there's a little, little green LED there. Let's connect it to the red and the black wires. Hey! Look at that. Look at that. I could make a little toy. Two little lights as the eyes and a little soft toy. And how good would that be? Get a little dolly. Ow! If the kid didn't want her anymore, she shouldn't have thrown her out. Uh! Shove one LED in one eye. Oh, she's not looking so good anymore. And connect up the wires. <laughs> How creepy is that? Hey? Eh? Renewable energy from recycled materials. 
Hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I sparked a few ideas. If you need any other help with any science fair project ideas, give me a holler and I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Woo!